Killer whales aren't whales? Hey guys, it's Brandon, and welcome to this episode of Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. Today we'll be learning about the killer whale, or as I prefer, the orca. If you've seen my previous episodes, you know that I've talked about the orcas quite a bit as being a global predator, and many of the animals that I've talked about have been featured as prey to the orca. But I want to note that they aren't just killing machines. Yes, they are efficient predators, but that's not all there is to them. There is so much more below the surface that we can't see. I'm excited for this adventure today because this is what started it all. I was six years old and I wanted to be an orca trainer because I went to SeaWorld and also we live in near the Puget Sound and so we saw orcas all the time. And so this is what really started my journey and my adventure towards becoming a marine biologist was the adventures and having so much fun and just being out near the water is just such a great experience and my dad told me that I needed to be a marine biologist if I wanted to work with these animals and so I did and along this adventure I've also discovered more animals so I'm not just focused on orcas anymore but this video will be I love all of the ocean and I want to spread all of that to all of you and so I've picked up teaching as well as the, my love of research and my love of learning about the ocean for this channel and for you guys. So grab your adventure gear. Are you ready? Let's dive in. The term killer whale is the most common name for this species. However, due to a negative connotation as being killers and the whales actually not being whales, it is becoming more common to call them orcas. Orcas are the largest members of the family Delphinidae. This means they are actually the largest dolphin species. The term killer whale is thought to be a mistranslation of the Spanish meaning of whale killer. Hunters saw these animals killing baleen whales and were called whale killers. In local native mythology, orcas are considered to be the spirits of successful hunters. In other cultures, they are considered to be guardians of the sea, saving fishermen and sailors from the dark depths of the ocean. Orcas can be identified by a black back and white undersides. They have a distinct white patch behind the eye and a tall dorsal fin. Adult male bulls have very tall triangular dorsal fins and females have shorter, more curved dorsal fins. The light patch behind the dorsal fin is known as the saddle patch. Saddle patches vary by individual but have similar patterns between family members. These markings can be used like a fingerprint to identify individuals. Orcas are known as odontocetes or toothed whales. They have the ability to eat larger prey like fish and even marine mammals. There are three separate types of orcas. There are residents, transients, and offshore. Let's start with what makes a resident orca. Resident orcas are the most commonly viewed and studied orcas on the planet. They are categorized as the whales that live in the coastal waters of the Northeast Pacific Ocean. These groups commonly form large families known as pods, consisting of 20 or more individuals. The southern resident orcas that live in British Columbia, Canada and Washington State are the most researched species of all the orcas due to their accessibility. Resident orcas feed primarily on fish species, like salmon, and they will sometimes eat squid. Resident orcas are known to have very distinct and complex vocalizations. Although orcas have great eyesight, resident orcas use echolocation to find prey. Resident orcas hunt as individuals chasing large salmon, one at a time, towards the shallow water and sometimes cliffs. The southern resident orcas are my favorite whales to observe since I live so close and have experience with them all. The second type of orca are known the second type of orcas are known as transients. They live in smaller pods that range from 2 to 8 individuals. 
They primarily prey upon marine mammals like seals and other whales. Since transient orcas eat marine mammals, they tend to be quieter than resident orcas when hunting. Since marine mammals have complex ears, they, ha they can hear the echolocation and sounds produced by orcas. It is believed that silent hunting is a learned trait that can be taught to young orcas. This doesn't mean that these orcas are always silent. After a successful kill, they are quite noisy. This is thought to be some sort of celebration. Transient orcas are known to have family bonds, but it isn't as strong as the resident or offshore orcas. The final type of orcas we will discover are known as offshore orcas. They live far off the coast and primarily feed on schooling fish, but have been observed hunting baleen whales. They're kind of like a hybrid between transient and resident orcas. You can see a really cool behavior in the fjords of Norway when the herring are spawning. The orcas use complex vocalizations and work in teams to push the herring into a big ball. They then push the ball of herring to the surface of the water. Then, members of the family swim at the herring school and slap their tail against the fish to stun them. Now, here's the strange thing. You might think that there would be a feeding frenzy to grab up all the stunned herring, but that isn't the case. Scientists have recorded that there is a pecking order to the feeding. The matriarchs and older males eat first. They pick up one herring at a time, and the males can eat 400 herring in one sitting. Then come the mothers and calves, then finally is everyone else. Offshore orcas tend to work together as a big family and have strong social bonds. Now, I know that this isn't all of the facts that we can learn about orcas, but if we did that, we would need to have a full documentary to cover it all. But that just means that I can come back to orcas and we can go on another adventure to together in the future. I will leave us with a personal story. Alright, picture this. I was out in the San Juan Islands watching orcas many years ago. We had our engine off and we were floating with the current. It was a beautiful sunny day. It was a beautiful summer day, which means it was sunny with blue skies. The, wet, the water was calm and there was a slight wind to create the currents. Yes, I know it is rare for Washington to not have rain, and that's what makes it more beautiful. We were watching the resident J-Pod come closer and closer. I was watching this huge male bull while sitting on the bow with my feet hanging over the side. This male bull came so close that I could see him underwater and I could feel the spray from his blowhole when he swam by. I didn't have my camera at the time. Mom didn't think I needed it. I was pretty mad. But now I look back and I'm glad I got to interact on such a personal level with the orca and wasn't distracted by a camera. Looks like we're all out of time for this adventure. But don't you worry, we will have another adventure coming really soon. Let's quickly review what we learned today. Orcas are not whales. They're very intelligent and they have a complex social structure. They love working together and they have their own dialects depending on the region of the world that they, they're found. Also, different pods eat different things. So one group might eat just fish and the other group might eat mammals, including seals and other whales and dolphins. If you happen to see orcas in the wild, consider yourself very lucky because it is a, it's an omen of good fortune in some cultures and it's also, they're also known as the guardians of the sea and they look out for sailors. I wanted to thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to come on this adventure with me and supporting this channel. It really means a lot to me. If you like this content and you want to see more, make sure to give this video a thumbs up Make sure to comment down below and make sure to subscribe because the more subscribers I have, the more opinions that I get uh, from you guys. And I love hearing stories from you guys and I love hearing your inputs and I want to hear how to make this channel a little bit better and cater it a little bit towards you while keeping my main focus of marine biology. Um, get involved with my social media. I have links down below. And again, I want to thank you all for watching. I've been Brandon, and I will see you in our next adventure.